Let's go straight to the lines. Let's speak to Peter in Aberdeen. Peter, good morning to you. Morning, Gary. Hi there. How do you feel about the Union flag on this 400th anniversary, then? Well, I feel very positive about the flag. I'm proud to be Scottish and proud to be British. That's my view of my own nationality, and I think it's up to each individual Scot to decide for themselves whether they consider themselves British. Now, I've flown the Union flag many times proudly, and in a few times I've even got into trouble uh, for, for doing so. I do believe there's a certain amount of intolerance out there, a problem with the, the Scottish body politic, if you like. Um, it, it was great, for example, that we uh, paraded both flags to the opening of the Scottish Parliament, the Saltire and the Union flag. Um, now, I'm a, a, a Republican, a Scottish Republican, who believes in uh, an independent uh, Scottish Republic, so I was supporting the... Um, um, on Calton Hill when they were having a, a you know a, a declaration of an independent Scottish Republic uh, there but there was somebody out there burning a Union flag now what's that saying to those people like myself who consider themselves British in a kind of you know loose sense uh, it's, it's saying that this is uh, a kind of an, an intolerance which is going to uh, uh, take hold and I, I think you know look at the people who, who want to burn Union flags for example people like Hitler let me read you, let me just read you this from Bob who says, Gary, I perceive this object as a rag. He says it's a symbol of an imperialist past and subjugation. Well, um, I, I think we, we should move away from imperialism. I think we should end the United Kingdom. I'm, I'm a republic, I don't believe in the kingdom, but I think with, with a, uh, a new British republic, a kind of a loose republic along the lines of the European Union. I mean, for example, you can fly the European Union flag. No one says that takes away France's independence or Germany's or Italy's independence. I think we have an independent Scotland and for those uh, Scots that want to feel themselves British, uh, then they can fly the Union flag and they shouldn't get any hassle for it. I mean, so too much like emphasis placed on this one particular fa flag, you believe? No, I'm very proud to be British. I mean, uh, for, I think there should be an emphasis for people like myself who believe in it, who look, look uh, back with fondness the way we stood up to Hitler as Britain. And I believe in the future um, there's still going to be a need for some kind of Britain you know, to, to run our, for example, aircraft carriers a nuclear independent deterrent, there's still going to be for some kind of Britain. Well, let's say there is a new settlement then, and, you know, a, a, a looser relationship, however you want to look at it. Uh -huh. Would that not mean that perhaps it would be time to reconsider the flag itself? Well, if people have got ideas for a new design for a, a British flag, uh, go ahead, let's have a nice debate about it, the way the, the, the debate um, in which uh, Scottish national anthem we can have. Yeah, we never come to a conclusion on that one, Peter, so we're unlikely <laughs> to do so on the flag as well. well okay. Uh, Okay. Let me thank you very much for taking the time to call. It's been nice to speak to you. Five hundred.